Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating a boat dodging game in Scratch 3.2. So now, let's get started. You can try drawing these sprites and costumes, take it from the internet or from the link to the same things in the description. So let's start with our code. We will start a code from the sprite called Side Scrolling Grounds. When the flag is clicked, we'll go to Motions and take the block, go to X0 and Y0. So basically we need to create a scrolling background effect using these two sprites. Show, Controls, Forever, inside Forever, we'll go to Motions, take the block, change Y by minus 5, so it will keep moving downwards. F block, Operators, less than sign in the first cell, F, Y position is less than minus 362. Then we need to make it go back to its original position in the start. Go to X0 and Y 362. Now we'll go to the second one and we'll make some edits in the same code. When the flag is clicked, motions, go to X0 and Y. 360 this time. Looks. Show. Forever. Inside forever. Change Y by minus 5. We will keep moving downwards. If block. Less than sign. In the first cell. If Y position. Less than 360. Change it to minus 360. Then. Go to X0 and Y360 back to its original position. Now we'll check out this code if it's scrolling. Wonderful. Let's return to our code and start coding the animation of the waves in the water. When the flag is clicked, we'll go to looks and take the block, set mosaic effect to 4.5 set ghost effect to 75 switch costume to costume 3 forever looks change fisheye effect by minus 3 and next costume for the animation we have to wait for a few seconds like 0.09 seconds in my case you can change it according to yourself change fish eye effect by 3 check out this code nice now the waves also have an animation now we'll move to the fishes we want to spawn random fishes on the screen and move it in random directions so for the code, when the flag is clicked, hide, go to the back layer. Forever, we'll go to controls and take the block, create clone of myself. Wait for pick random, 2 to 5 seconds. Go to block, go to X, pick random, minus 140 to 140 and y minus 203 when i start as a clone go to looks show motions point in direction pick random minus 55 to 55 so it will point in a random direction. Repeat until touching. Now I have this sprite called Fish Clone Deleter, which is just a couple of rectangles on three sides of the screen. You can draw these. 
so when the fish touches it the clone will get deleted so let's move to the code repeat until touching the fish clone deleter motion move five steps if block if touching fish clone deleter repeat 11 times move seven steps so it will vanish away from the screen when we take the block delete this clone beneath it check out this code now we can see the fishes moving in random directions from random places from the bottom of the screen excellent let's move to the boat so we need to animate the o's in my case if you don't want to do it it's fine so let's animate the o's when the flag is clicked point in direction 90 go to x 0 and y minus 75 forever wait for 0 0.09 seconds looks next costume as we can see I have almost eight costumes for the animation of the o's in the boat so it gives a realistic view of the game so let's check it out it also looks good now we want a boat to move right and left when the right and left arrow keys are pressed now for this code we'll take the block when the flag is clicked controls forever if else block another if else block beneath the else section if key right arrow pressed then and in the second one if key left arrow pressed then if key right arrow pressed then change x by 5 point in direction 110 that is 90 plus 20 degrees so it turns to the right if key right arrow pressed instead of right arrow change it to left arrow pressed then change x by minus 5 point in direction 70 that is 90 minus 20 seconds that means to the left else point in direction 90 which is normal now we don't want the boat to overlap with the sand or the moving backgrounds on the side so we need to create a bouncing effect we'll take and block and in the first cell of the and block we'll put an or block touching side scrolling ground 1 or touching side scrolling ground 2 and key right arrow pressed now we'll drag it and put it in the if cell duplicate this code and instead of right arrow change it to left arrow this time now in the first one that is the right arrow scenario change x by minus 6 and for the second one that is the left arrow change x by 6 put them in the respective positions and let's check out the project the project works fine the side scrolling backgrounds are scrolling and the boat can also move and it does not overlap with the sands on the side the waves animation is also there and the fishes also spawn from random positions So, if you found the tutorial to be helpful, don't forget to like and leave behind a comment. If you want more such tutorials, do not forget to subscribe. Bye, meet you next time.